Box is the world's first modular smartwatch. Each link of your watch is a different sensor that you can choose to make a device that's unique to you. Blox is essentially made of two key parts. The core or watch face already has all the functionalities of other smartwatches. And then the strap is made of different links, which we call modules. Each of these modules have a separate function or sensor inside. You can pick the modules you want, you connect them together, and you make your smartwatch based on what you need. Me and Alireza met together. Both of us uh, were bioengineers by training from Imperial College. And we were very passionate about wearable technology and what it can give um, to people. So we were initially working on a gesture control wristband, but asking from a lot of our friends, we decided to add more features to this. I was more interested into gesture control, contactless payment, cellular connectivity, and Serge was more interested into health and sports applications of a smartwatch. But you cannot simply put all of these features and sensors in one device because of the price point and the size limitations. And there was no other answer other than modularity. Each of us could pick the smartwatch that we wanted. Initially, we started uh, working and thinking about this uh, from December 2013. And then we saw the Venture Catalyst Challenge in Imperial. We started gathering the team around it and making some prototypes. And that was very good for us because it really gave us an end goal uh, to, to, you know, to actually make a product. After about uh, four weeks of doing so, we realized that it, it really wouldn't take us uh, enough time to complete the device by that, by that point. So we thought of a pivot. Uh, that would essentially prove to the judges of the VCC competition um, how, how Blox is relevant to a lot of people in the world. Uh, we, we made our second version of prototype by the end of the VCC challenge and to basically show uh, kind of as a proof of concept how modularity works. We basically used 3D printing, simple headphone jacks to kind of make up a module and make it in a large size. So even though it didn't really look good as a watch, people could already understand the concept uh, in a better way. So VCC is great in the, in the way that it really makes you think uh, by a lean methodology. So you, know, you have to go and investigate your users and think what they want. A lot of people did not understand the value of modularity and what modularity can bring. And it took us a bit of time to make sure we understand why modularity is that important and why this is an important feature to have. Uh, you know, they said to us, go and ask 100 people uh, what they want uh, in, a, in a smartwatch. Uh, so we went out and we did this in Hyde Park uh, during a massive running event, but we thought it was not enough. So we said, look, we need to get a bit more validation. How can we do it in such a way that we wouldn't be biased? This is Blocks, the fully customizable smartwatch. Each block is different and can be chosen to measure, log and show exactly what you need. We made a video uh, about Blocks, uh, which uh, we put out to the world for the world to see. And it got picked up by the world media all over. Um, publications like TechCrunch and Gadget and Wired start talking about Blocks as something that's really unique. And that's when we realized that Blocks is not just a project, but it has a, it has a potential to really becoming a, a proper full-scale startup. And we worked with uh, experts from uh, Berkeley uh, Entrepreneurship Lab as well, who've, uh, who've pushed us even further to try and prove uh, you know, our customer customer uh, enthusiasm for a modular product. So what, what they did, they said, can you just call up your customers and actually offer them um, this product, even though it's not yet produced, for $100. Maybe you could do some kind of deposit scheme. And um, at first we were kind of against it, um, but actually this was probably one of the most genius things that anyone could have uh, helped us with. Because we started calling up our customers and uh, really uh, really interviewing about them about what they needed in a modular smartwatch and then trying to sell it. And you would be surprised that people were so enticed about blocks um, that actually they were saying, yes, I will, I will pay $100 to, uh, you know, for your product even though there is no official date of its release. So a good thing about Imperial and its startup ecosystem is that there is a lot of support and not, on, not only from the Create Lab itself, but all around uh, there is a a number of societies that can help you, uh, you know, building your product, like hackathons that uh, the Department of Computing Society organizes and so on. We've been to one. I think Imperial has been very helpful. Imperial has a very good network, it has a very good uh, reputation, and we, we always can use the name of Imperial, reaching out to investors, reaching out to media, reaching out to new people and hiring talent. So being in the environment of Imperial has been very good for gathering more talent, having a good and vibrant space to work in. But there's also the space that Imperial provides, and uh, 
there are not many universities in the UK who really uh, give students an opportunity to go and work at this beautiful space uh, that we are at now, uh, the Imperial Incubator. Being at Imperial Incubator, because, because of the location, it's located centrally in London, we have access directly to all the students, the staff, the professors. It's very good, we can just reach out to anyone very quickly and ask questions. And being in this environment is very uh, kind of easy to interact with a lot of different talents. I think it's very important for, um, for a startup to have a place where the team belongs and it's been paramount for us to, to, to be in one place where everybody could work.